according to an article by Rima Hemmelston, more than five million children, more than five million children experienced noise in, between the ages of five of six and nineteen experienced noise induced hearing loss. In our everyday environment, we are exposed to sound, whether it be from listening to music, the television, or the sound of traffic. Um, but did you know that listening to loud noises can cause permanent hearing loss? When you hear loud sounds for a long time, you experience, when you, sorry, when you hear loud sounds for a long time, it damages the sensitive structures in the inner ear, which causes noise-induced hearing loss. As college students, we should be aware of this so we can know how to prevent it from happening to us. As a member of society, I have been in many situations where I've been exposed to loud noises, and I wanted to know more about this topic, and I thought it was important to share it with you. Learning about noise-induced hearing loss will help you understand its effects and importance. First, I will discuss some background on noise-induced hearing loss. Secondly, what causes it, and thirdly, how to prevent it. So what is noise-induced hearing loss? In order to understand what noise-induced hearing loss is, I will to understand. first explore some background, then the, then the characteristics of the ear. Noise-induced hearing loss is caused by listening to, like I said, listening to loud music for a long time or just really loud music, really loud noises for a long time, and which causes the inner ear to, the inner ear, the hair cells to be damaged. So this is developed throughout years of hearing loud noises. Mostly it occurs, it has to, 10 years or more will occur for so you to um, produce hearing loss. According to a website titled, Occupational Noise Ex Exposure by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration on November 2011, hearing loss interferes with socializing with friends or other social activities impairs your ability to interfere with communication with others. So how does the ear work? The sound waves enter the outer ear, then the vibrations impact, impact to the eardrum, then transmit it to the, middle, to the middle and inner ear. The inner ear contains a cochlea, which is shaped like a snail and filled with fluid. In there, there are small, um, fine hairs that move with vibrations and convert the sound waves into nerve impulses, which is the sound we hear. Hearing too much noise, very loud noise, will cause those hair cells to be damaged. And that will cause um, noise-induced hearing loss. So now that you have a better understanding of the back of some background of noise-induced hearing loss and, it will and the, how the ear works, now let's move on to our second point. What causes it? So noise in, so let's first just let's first explore the sounds we hear how they affect us. So sound is measured in units called decibels. 75 decibels or less is fine. Um, 75 or less decibels is fine to hear. That won't produce hearing loss, but 85 or more decibels will produce hearing loss. So some examples of decibels would be a chainsaw, 90 decibels, heavy truck traffic, 80 decibels. Hearing your dray beats will probably be around 114 decibels, but it varies between the type of music you hear. So according to a website by the National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, titled Noise-Induced Hearing Loss on October 13th, People of all ages, including children, teens, young adults, and older people can develop this. So this means that anyone is at risk of this disorder. It doesn't matter how old you are, if you are listening to very loud music or noise all the time, then you can be exposed to this. Now let's explore its effects, symptoms, and how to prevent it. Um, although it may be scary to to realize that anyone can produce noise-induced hearing loss, I will share with you its effects and symptoms and how to prevent it. So, like I said before, hearing loud noise for a long period of time will cause hearing loss. 
if you listen, if you hear gunshots or explosions, it will automatically cause permanent hearing loss. Um, if you start getting hearing loss, the sound you hear will not sound the same. When you have a conversation with a person, it won't be the same because of your hearing loss. According to an article by Cornelia Kent from ENT Today on January 2010, she quotes Anik Vogel, most people with mild high frequency hearing are unaware of their impairment. So you can have hearing loss and not even be aware of it or notice it. Um, so hearing loss, if you have hearing loss, it can cause antinitis, which is a ringing, buzzing, or roaring in the ears or head. So now let's move on to prevention. So you can practice good hearing health. That is a way to prevent it. Um, also be aware of hazardous noises, wear earplugs or other protective devices. And if you notice any symptoms of hearing loss, then you should get a test done. So noise-induced hearing loss, so I just discussed what noise-induced hearing loss is and how it affects us. Let's wrap things up now. So learning about noise-induced hearing loss is important so you guys can all prevent it. First I, first, I explored its background. Second, what causes it? And finally, how to prevent it. Noise-induced noise hearing loss can start at any moment. So start protecting your hearing because once your hearing is damaged, it is damaged for good. So. Keep calm and protect your ears. <laughs> Thank you.